Happy Halloween! <laughs> Halloween's always a dangerous time with kids with food allergies. That's why the Food Allergy Research and Education Group is promoting the Teal Pumpkin Project, because they want to encourage families to give out food-free treats like stickers, crayons, and small toys. Peanuts and tree nuts are certainly the most common, but we see milk, uh, we see chocolate, we see wheat, we see soy allergy. So any of those can be potential ingredients in really any candies. By displaying a teal pumpkin on their porch, parents and trick-or-treaters can identify which house is food allergy friendly. Kids with food allergies oftentimes feel left out or a little ostracized, and we try really hard to make sure that doesn't happen. We want them to get out, have fun, do the things that the other kids are doing so they don't feel left out. And Dr. Kaplan says the kids should always carry their EpiPen and eat a full meal before they go out. When they get home with their loot, their big stash of candy, to have the parents go through that with them to kind of sort out the ones that they can and they can't eat. Even though everyone is not familiar with the Teal Pumpkin Project, once they learn more, they thought it was a good idea. I think it's a great way for to identify the homes that it's going to be safe for the kids to go to and I think that all kids can can no matter whether they have allergies or not can know that they're going to be safe on Halloween. It's a great idea to let them know which houses to show up at and which not to and and um, you know potentially save a life.